Okay, let us go for the next derivation. So this is variation of entropy with temperature. So let us write this one and then we will go. Okay, let us go for the next one. So, if the entropy, so we have already derived one expression, entropy change as a function of volume, that is R ln V F by V F V I N R ln V F by V I, that is entropy change as a function of volume. Now, this time we are saying entropy change as a function of temperature. So, this time again it is given as delta S is C ln T F by T I. Now, C is heat capacity of gas. So C is heat capacity of gas, T is the final temperature of system, Ti is the initial temperature of system. So we have to find what is delta S. Delta S is given as C ln Tf by Ti, where C is the heat capacity of gas. Okay, let us go for that derivation. Now we have already said Ds is given by Dq reversible by T. So this is the definition of entropy change. So you, although this is a uh, ds is a, a state function i have to take dq reversible so that i can easily measure dq reversible dq re measuring dq reversible is slightly difficult task and that's why we take dq reversible by t so if we take dq reversible by t i have to find dq so let us say what is the definition of heat capacity heat capacity is if i give an object dq amount of heat if temperature rises by dt, then we define C is equals to dq by dt. There is the temperature, the heat required per unit change in temperature. So if the temperature change is dt, the heat required is dq. So for one unit temperature change, I will have a heat required is dq by dt that is defined at heat capacity. So heat capacity C is given by as dq by dt. Uh, so this relation is also applicable when the process is reversible. So I can say this is applicable when process is reversible. So I can also write C is equals to DQ reversible by DT. So from there I can write DQ reversible is C DT. Are you getting or not? So DQ reversible by C DT. Now if I plug the value of DQ reversible here, I will get everything. So I plug the value of dq reversible from here to equation 1. So plug the value from equation 2 to equation 1, then just do integration. Have you done? How many of you have done? Very few. Why? Please read at home. It is a time to read. You have to work very hard because too many pupils are preparing for the same exam you know you have to work hard okay go for the solution part now if i combine this dq reversible in the first equation this will ds will be c dt dq reversible is c dt divided by t so you see here dq reversible by t so if i plug the value of c dt by t and if i integrate from si to sf ti to tf dt by t is ln t so this becomes this are you getting or not so this is delta s is given as so let us copy this one. Oh, this is here if c will not be constant i would have not taken this outside if the c is not constant i have written ds si to sf c dt by t and then i have to plug the value of c as a function of temperature and then i have to integrate it if c is not constant c is a function of temperature so if c is function of temperature function of temperature in that case i would have not integrated this expression I would remain as it is. Now let us copy this one and then we will go for the next. So if temperature is changing from Ti to Tf, the entropy change is given by this. If C is a function of temperature, then I would have not taken this outside. In this case you see, 
C has been taken outside of the integration. This is only because C I assume that the temp constant of temperature if C is not constant, I put it inside. Let us go for the next in the same case. Uh, so I can derive one result the temperature very close to T is equals to 0 Kelvin. So if 0 Kelvin temperature is something around 0 Kelvin, what will be the entropy? So you see in this case CPM that is molar heat capacity at constant pressure is given by ATQ. So this is a derived result where is A constant. Now see CPM that is C is given by ATQ. So you see in the last problem we said if C is not constant, it's a function of temperature, then I cannot take it outside. Now you see here, this C is basically a function of temperature. So I have to put the value of CPM as a function of temperature. So if I write C dt by T and C is ATQ by T, so this simply becomes T square dt and A is a constant, it comes outside. So if I integrate so delta S both side if I integrate so this will become ST so final temperature at T this is at 0 Kelvin is equals to 0 to T T square DT are you getting or not so this is temperature at 0 Kelvin this is temperature at T so if I integrate this expression T square will be TQ by 3 so this will be something like this are you getting so at any temperature so let us assume big C uh, when temperature goes to 0 degree, this is the third law of thermodynamics, entropy goes to 0. So, S0 is 0. When temperature is 0, so this S0 will be 0. So, ST is given by ATQ by 3 simply. So, now ATQ is what? So, you see here, we have written CPM, you see here, is ATQ. So, here we have, okay, so this one. CPM is ATQ. So, ATM is nothing but CPM. So, if I plug this value, C is ATQ is CPM. So, that is a molar heat capacity uh, at constant pressure. So, ATQ is CPM. So, ST is CPM by 3. So, entropy change, this is the entropy change at very low temperature around 0 Kelvin. At only at 0 Kelvin, around 0 Kelvin, this molar heat capacity is given by formula ATQ 0 around 0 Kelvin like you can have a 1, 2, 2, 3 Kelvin you can have 1 Kelvin you can have 2 Kelvin very near to the 0 Kelvin so at very near to the 0 Kelvin entropy change is given by CPM by 3 so one can ask a objective question what is the molar heat capacity ah, what is the entropy of a substance that has a molar heat capacity at constant pressure is CPM so you have to answer this is the CPM by 3 so entropy near zero can be found only knowing CPM. So if I know CPM, then I know the entropy near the zero Kelvin. What is CPM? CPM is nothing but molar heat capacity at constant pressure. So only knowing the molar heat capacity, I can tell what is the entropy around the zero Kelvin. Did you get or not? So this is a quite interesting thing. So related something related to the third law of thermodynamics. Third law of thermodynamics says as you reach to the temperature 0 Kelvin entropy of all substances goes to 0. This means all crystals are freezed at, a, at a one location that is the ideal crystal. So if you have written we will go for the next problem. Okay.